Hi, everybody. Rob Kennedy, president of the Hoop Group, and once again talking a little recruiting advice. You know, for the last two to three months, we've been talking about our presentation, this slide uh, show that takes you through uh, in the PowerPoint how to go about coming up with a little bit of a game plan to attack your recruiting, uh, what you can do to try and get people interested, uh, what some of the things that you need to be aware of, ranging from NCAA rules and, and, and recruiting dates, all that kind of stuff. I'm talking about creating our basketball smart list resource to be able to find it. So now just to kind of tie those things together here in our last one. And then starting next week, uh, we'll get on to some new topics, including uh, what do I do come the end of my season? All right, a lot of you have questions about AU basketball, what it all means, what you should be doing. We'll start addressing some of those uh, next week. But to wrap things up, about what you can do as both a player, a coach, or a parent to try and help yourself in the recruiting process. We talked about the different things that can separate yourself as a basketball player, as a student, uh, and as a guy of high quality. All right? We talked about uh, what you need to be aware of as far as the NCAA. Remember the resources, uh, NCAA.org, as well as the Clearinghouse, as well as any of those places that you can pick up some of the information about the recruiting periods, which change and are different from girls basketball to boys basketball to each and every other sport. Uh, we talked about creating a basketball smart list. We talked about how parents and coaches can really be a great safety net for kids, to be able to be there to ask the tough questions uh, and to make sure that people don't get blinded by the wrong things uh, and don't allow our young uh, you know, adults to get themselves in a position where they're just awestruck by a coach, right? Our guys and our girls making sure that we're there to be able to support them and help them through this process. And if you do this, and if you take all these different things that we talked about, then remember this, as a parent, as a coach, and as a player, there is nothing better than being part of a basketball team on a college campus. Much like those same experiences that you have right now, at the high school level, some of your best memories in high school are being part of this team. It's the same in college. To have that opportunity to play college basketball is a dream that is well, well worth chasing. Just make sure that we chase it, not with blinders on, but with eyes totally open, and that we chase it for the right reasons. And that we're not trying to live vicariously through our players if we're a coach or through our kids if we're a parent. Uh, but we're there to be able to share and to experience and to uh, make sure that we enjoy uh, those experiences for our kids just as much as they do. All right? Make sure that you're encouraging them all the way along. When they get down, when all of a sudden maybe a scholarship comes off the table, when somebody doesn't show up to a game, make sure that we're not getting caught up in it. All right? That we're always in the driver's seat. We're not driving this bus. But you got to make sure you're there as a passenger in that supportive role to be able to help them realize their dream of being able to play college basketball. Once again, uh, if you've got any questions, you can email me at robk at hoopgroup.com. And again, we still got our uh, little uh, PowerPoint presentation right here that takes you through all the different things that we've talked about for the last couple of months.